Today I'm going to talk to you all about our melatonin secretion and the inverse effect it has on cortisol, which is our major stress hormone. So when melatonin secretion levels go up, cortisol levels go down. And when stress and cortisol levels go up, melatonin secretion goes down. As we all know, melatonin is what puts us to sleep and helps us sleep at night. When melatonin levels go up, you're going to have anti-inflammatory uh, properties, anti-aging. You're going to—it's going to lower your triglyceride levels. It's also going to uh, increase DNA replication, which is a very positive thing for our genes. So, some ways to improve your melatonin secretion is. One, I say this all the time, I know, meditate, meditate, meditate. Two, another thing that you can do is to stop watching your, uh, lower your, the amount of screen time that you have every day, because that's going to uh, lower your melatonin levels, um, especially before you go to bed at night, at least an hour before you do so. And the lastly, one thing that you can take is just some supplemental melatonin. And, you know, that comes in little doses of three milligrams at a time. That's going to really help you sleep well throughout the night if your melatonin levels are down. So those are the primary ways um, in, of course, lowering stress. And there's so many different variabilities and ways that we can do that. So I want you all to know how important melatonin is. It puts us to sleep, of course, serotonin. Mela puts you to sleep, Melanie, and Sarah puts, uh, wakes you up in the morning. So if you have a consistent routine on your bedtime, going to bed at the same time every morning and waking up at the sunrise, that's really gonna help your overall melatonin levels.